Hello everyone! So in this video, I'm going to be giving you the basics on how to make an LPS video. So this video is going to be pretty straightforward. It's not going to go into depth of like what camera quality you need and what's a good ring light, things like that. Like it's just going to be the basics. So throughout this video, I'm just going to be having a little checklist for you guys that you can use when filming. So you can kind of just check off the boxes as you are setting up so you make sure that your video is good to go. And I myself use this when I set up and film my own videos because I just find it super helpful and it gets me prepared and I don't have to worry about anything really going wrong other than the weather. And I say the weather because that goes more into when we get to the part talking about lighting for your videos. So let's start off with the number one thing that is so important in any video. So before you film a video, you need to think of video ideas. What are you going to be filming? Plan it out and maybe make bullet points of what the goal is in the video. And then that will kind of help you, you know, set up what you're going to be filming. The next thing that you want to do is pick and choose the LPS or multiple LPS that you are going to use for the video. So for this video I picked this butterfly dachshund because I thought she would match the pink flooring and I just like this LPS but you can choose whichever LPS that you want to use. The third thing you want to do is pick out props if you want any. Uh, this is really good if you're making skits or a series. But if you're not making skits or a series and you don't need props, your video doesn't call for that, then you can always just use a background wallpaper if you're making just like a short video, kind of like how I do. And these are perfect because they give your video some, I guess, uniqueness to it, something to look at, something pretty. It makes it pleasing. Alright, and then the next thing is what I mentioned earlier about lighting. Uh, getting good lighting for videos is super important because if your video is just dark looking, hard to see, it's blurry, not many people are going to want to watch that because it's just hard to watch. You can't, you can't really see anything. You don't know what's going on. So you always want to make sure that you have the best lighting possible for your videos. I typically film by a window, that is my film spot, and I try and film on sunny, nice days, uh, not really when it's cloudy, because where I live, it is cloudy a lot of the time, so it's hard to find days to film, so I just pick days that are the most bright. But if your days where you live are super cloudy like mine or you might be busy on the sunny days, I recommend getting a ring light because I'm using one right now actually and it just provides a brighter look for your videos and it's just more, I guess, I want to say interesting to watch but it's just more pleasing to look at. Same with like getting and choosing a background, it's just pleasing to look at so yeah, always make sure to have good lighting. The last and final thing that I want to recommend in this little video on how to film a video um, is to have no background noise. It can get super distracting when watching videos when you hear a dog barking in the background or lots of kids in the background. Like, it can get distracting. And I know for some people that's like unavoidable, which is fine, but I recommend if that is like inside your house, like super loud, try filming outside. I think filming, people who film outside, it can look really, really cool because it's in a different setting. It's different from filming on a table all the time. So yeah, try that and see how it goes. But if you're really wanting to not have any background noise, just shut your door wherever you're filming at and try and film quietly. And what's really helpful as well with is if you're editing your videos, uh, applying like background music to them helps kind of dilute any background noise I find, so that works really well too. So I hope you guys really enjoyed these tips for how to film a video. I put this together very quickly actually. Um, so let me know if you guys tried any of these and if they worked well for you. Uh, if it was like a good checklist, because this is what I use, so it works well for me. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video.